talking a little bit more about herd and social. Hopefully these guys won't run away, right? So, uh, this Palomino's been with uh, three or four different other horses. And one, he didn't get along with at all. They got in a huge fight. The other ones he's gotten along with pretty well. And this other horse next to him really likes him and uh, just kind of follows him around. So you'll notice um, horses, when you put them together, if they're more aloof, you know, one's just walking around ignoring the other and they never hang out together, that horse is probably uh, more okay by himself. But if every time you come, the horse is with another horse, or you're standing by him or grooming him, um, that's a horse that's probably not gonna do that great alone by himself. So the thoughts you wanna have when you're buying a horse is if it's in a stall, you don't have to worry about that because it's not in with another horse. But again, you wanna make sure there's horses by there or on the other side of the stall um, for his companionship. If you're going to put your horse in with another horse, and I've heard this from lots of people, they try to find the perfect horse and they find it and then they shove it in with their other horse and they don't get along. And then they wanna bring the horse back because the horse doesn't get along with the other horse. That's not a good plan. Um, you really seriously have to figure things out. So if um, you're gonna put it with another horse, first you wanna put it next to the other horse for a week or so and make sure it's okay. And if that works out still when you put them in, it still might not work out. So you have to make sure that if those horses don't get along, well then that horse will have a paddock by itself and they can be next to each other because some horses like their own space, but they still want to interact with the other horse even though when you put them together they hate each other. But if they're on other sides of a paddock, they can get next to each other if they want. And if they don't want to be next to each other, they don't have to. But if they're constantly being next to each other and one's picking on the other and the other one keeps standing there, well, he might get all cut up, but it means he actually likes that horse or that companionship and he's okay with that horse biting at it or it would actually move it was if it was bugging him enough, okay? So that horse over there is usually standing by my horse and it's not big enough um, to put two horses over there, but he's okay by himself. He likes other horses and I think you know, he should be around other horses as he's taking a pee, but um, he's not as needy as some of the other ones who really have to be constantly with other horses. So when he's alone or my horse walks away from him, he doesn't freak out. He just kind of wanders around the paddock where other ones, uh, when the Palomino was over there and he was alone, he was uh, running around a fair amount. So. He's much more comfortable you know, with another horse, and he was also um, fine in a stall, just seeing the other horses. But he didn't like to be in that outer paddock because, you know, it's on the edge, so it's scarier. They got no protection except themselves. So in a new place, that can kind of freak them out, where the horse over there was braver, and he didn't care at all when I stuck him over there. The main thing is to have a plan when you're getting a new horse. Again, you can put them in pasture with other horses, but if they don't get along, you have to separate them. And you can't blame that on the seller because you see the horses getting along with each other. Um, you kind of have to figure out and have a plan. So we can tell you what the horse is like, but we can't tell you what your horse is like. And that part you kind of have to figure out as time goes along if they're going to get along or not but have a backup plan because you don't want to get rid of a good horse just because it doesn't get along with your old horse. And maybe your old horse is not the best trail horse, right? And that new horse is much better. So you don't want to get rid of them just because they don't get along. Have a backup plan, have more stalls or cut your pasture in half. It's not hard with electric tape. Um, you know, and then this is, I think they call it hog wire or something like that. You can put that up, but put some effort into helping your horse adjust and getting him to get used to the other horse. Sometimes when the horses hate each other in the beginning, they're best friends later on, but you gotta give them time. It's just like people. Some people get along right away, and some people don't get along in the beginning. But some of those people who didn't get along in the beginning later on understand each other and understand their views, and then they end up being best friends. So you have to have a plan, implement it, try to help your animals. They get passed around all the time, and that's a very hard thing. They get passed around, um, you know, people lie about their experience and then you get the horse and you're having to deal with 
this um, horse that's not as described. So you got to give them time. They all come around in time. They might not be exactly what you want. And then, you know, if it's not going to work out, you can sell them. But you want to give it as best effort as you can. Unless the trainer tells you this is totally the wrong horse and believe them because <laughs> they know. Um, but otherwise, you're trying to give them a chance because, again, these horses get passed around all the time. And all they know is when they get in that box that's pulled by the truck, when they get out, all their friends are gone and they're in a new place. And then that's why they're screaming and acting up and all these things because it keeps happening to them. So they don't know if they get in that box, are they going on a trail ride and going back to their friends? Or if they get in that box, do the friends totally disappear and they don't know what happened to them? Okay. So start, if you can, start thinking like a horse instead of thinking like a human. And that will help to figure out how to help them.